All right, collective, here we go. It's an all signs reading. We're gonna take a flyover of the soulmate cycle. This is tarot at its best. This is what tarot is. I've been pulling cards 31 years. Ain't never heard till I came out on YouTube last year pulling cards for signs. That's odd. <laughs> that don't make no sense. <laughs> I got even friends who say that. They're like, how the hell does that work? Anyway, astrology is man-made. Yeah, well, it is. Uh, but anyway, the planets do pull on the energies. And it is important to understand astrology if you're going to pull tarot cards, and I most certainly do. And that's why I'm pulling an all signs reading today. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, what a flyover of the soulmate cycle is, I got a mailbag video called Signs, Signs, Everywhere Signs. It's in my mailbag playlist. Check it out. I still don't think enough people have watched that. It's almost like you don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. That's nothing to be afraid of. What the hell? Anyway, this is Tarot at its best. It's an all signs reading for anyone. If you found it, you were meant to find it. All right? If you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Doesn't matter if you're a person, a raccoon who, by the way, the raccoon who did the news interview from my Twitter feed, God bless him. Uh, a chipmunk, and we're allowing bears, and we now have beavers that we're allowing in. But we've had beavers for a while. Mo mostly they show up to our bang, uh, our quickies every evening, or most evenings anyway. Uh, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but again, if you found it, you're meant to find it. And it's timeless. Whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. Right here is my pre-shuffle card, Six of Swords. I got a little flip book cartoon for you here. I sat down, I asked the universe, you know, because the energies have been weird lately ever since this Virgo new moon. Everybody's been feeling antsy crawling up on the couch with bonbons and crying feeling weird all yeah okay here's why <laughs> it's all from the DM side it's all from the other side of your twin flame deep soul connection most of you watching are the divine feminine if you found my channel you probably are right here six of swords somebody moving on from something yep somebody moving on from something toward their happiness <laughs> Is, is it going to sound familiar to you? Hold on a second. So they're moving on toward their happiness. Someone who's had a wall up, afraid to be vulnerable, okay? That's changing the world. This is the nine of wands, somebody who's had a wall up. The world, that cycle's changing. A new cycle is beginning. And they're scared as fuck, the four of cups. Scared as fuck about getting rejected. I think they're giving this a lot of thought. What are they scared as fuck of? Yeah, about getting rejected, but about taking that leap of faith. The fool. Toward what? Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy attached to that. That's a divine feminine energy attached to that. So it's your energy attached to that. And that is, right there, a most nurturing energy. It's one of the better qualities of the Empress. Right here, the Empress is all four queens. This is one of the better qualities of the Empress. Just like the King of Pentacles is one of the better qualities of the Emperor. Yeah, you're irreplaceable. I and mean, somebody is giving this, is sending out a lot of, a, like a 50,000 watt radio station right to you. Let's give the deck a shuffle. Let's do a reading. It's going to be a very powerful reading. Okay? That's why I had a very powerful intro to it. Because I want everybody to understand what's going on here. That's part of my purpose for being out here. <laughs> Because I tell you what, I know all this shit. I know the science side. I know the spiritual side. I know the whole, I know all the sides. <laughs> side one, side two, side three, side four. It's a double album set. I tell you what, I watched, I watched YouTube videos all last year. I got fucking confused. And I know what I'm doing. Oh, Jesus. I got a whole folder in my, in my inbox. I call it Confused. And it's, it's up to like 2,200 people now, you know, with questions of how they got confused. Well, I'm here to clear up that confusion. I can't respond to 2,200 emails, but I sure as fuck can do some videos. Here we go. Let's shuffle the deck for the current soulmate cycle. Let's do a fly over here. What's going on with this Six of Swords and this cycle that's ending and a new cycle beginning toward that magical Queen of Pentacles here? All right. Before the cut. Look, oh shit. Before the cut, this is going to be a powerful reading. Came back twice, the Queen of Pentacles. This is why you're feeling weird. This is why you're, you can't stop thinking about this and you're just, it's going crazy. This is why in last night's bang, 
it came up i tried to ask about hidden energies around the divine feminine and all that came in was your deep soul twin flame connection or, or twin flame connection i should say yeah either or they both got the same pain in the ass journey right here queen of pentacles again i already told you what it means it means you're irreplaceable you're something very special you've taught this person some things showed them some things i think they're moving on from something i see that six of swords if your person's married they checked out of that shit. They're going toward their happiness right here. Seven of Cups. One of the things you're feeling, one of the problems you're having is somebody... For some, I'll give you a scenario. It may not apply to all of you, but it will if you apply it to your story in some way. Somebody probably told you, I don't, I'm not interested. I'm out of here. Bye. I'm done. Whatever. I'm staying with my person. Whatever. All that shit. You know. Uh, and the thought of you... But after that happened... The thought of you, someone else, snatching you up and getting to smack your ass drove them batshit crazy. And that's this Seven of Cups. It's all this confusion and, oh my God, whoa, 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 whoa. what if somebody else, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if somebody else, I'm already banging your person every night on a quickie. So, you know, fuck you. Anyway, here we go. Somebody else is all ready. And it's driving them batshit crazy. They can probably feel that energy. They probably feel the energy of you going out and, you know, doing whatever. Pulling, pulling some of your energy away. Either way, somebody batshit crazy here with confusion and what ifs. It's those what ifs that get you. Now well, we give the deck a final shuffle. Let's pull a reading here. Let's stop fucking around. Here we go. We're going to get an overall energy. And we're going to pull ourselves a reading. I got our reading. Yeah, five of swords. Five of swords is our overall energy for this reading. Yeah, somebody who wants a victory at all costs here. Somebody, uh, and I'll tell you what that means because I'm gonna get the energy that's underneath this because I feel something hitting this card hard. Yeah, the three of three of pentacles. Um, this is somebody who it wants a victory at all costs. It's sometimes called a false victory card. It can be a card of self sabotage. It it depends what's around it, right? But in this case here, it's somebody who, who now realizes they want a victory with you. It's part of that confusion around the Seven of Cups. Because you're the Queen of Pentacles, it came up twice. Male or female, your energy to this person is warming and nurturing to their soul at the very least. Their brain's probably telling them, no, 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 I don't want this shit. But that's what the brain does. The ego protects us. The soul sends up and, hey, we know this person. We've known them for past lives. And the brain doesn't, know, it doesn't understand it. It sees it as confusion. It's like, no, no. Put up a wall. Put up a wall. You know, that kind of thing. Three of Pentacles is somebody here who wants something with you. Anything, at all costs. Friendship, whatever it is, they got to keep you around. They want to work on things. They want to whatever. But I get off of this that somebody is really kind of bummed that there isn't at least a friendship here. There isn't anything. You know? And that's, that's the part that gets them to come back. That feeling of the loss of this. Because it's a very special connection. You can't just tell that person to go to hell and get lost. I'm going to stay with the shit that I'm in. Or I'm going to keep just going with my life the way it is. That's all bullshit. This is a card of bullshit on many levels. It's a bullshit victory at the very least. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. This whole reading clarifying it. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. Not what they show you. Not what they tell you. Because that is bullshit. Trust me. 3D. <laughs> Good Lord. Hidden energies. Mm, what the universe wants you to know through me, and I'm going to tell you, and this is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything. I'm going to throw some universe cards over the top. I got quite a list now, but you bet your sweet people, raccoon, chipmunk, bear, and beaver asses <laughs> and fronts, that there's going to be a link for an extended in the, in the video's description because this is some powerful shit. We don't fuck around with these all signs readings. These are the real deal here. So you want to know what's going on? I'm about to tell you. Here's the energy around your connection. Remember everything I've said so far because that's the lead in. That's the cliff notes on all this. What's the first card out after this five of swords? What's the energy around this connection right now, universe? The hermit, yeah. That's why you're picking up on all the persons of 50,000 watt radio station. And all they're thinking about is you. And you're picking up on all those signals. The energy's a little smoother today, but not much. It's just better reception, that's all. It's been a little fuzzy. It's getting clearer and clearer and clearer. Yeah. Venus is making a move on the 10th, on Friday, depending on where you are. 
here in California, it's Friday about 1.39 in the uh, afternoon. Venus makes a move to Libra. It's home. It likes Libra. It's very happy in Libra. That's why a lot of this is happening, in part. But the hermit. Right now, somebody is in the cave. And they're broadcasting. And they're thinking, oh, everything I told you about with that Seven of Cups. Right here. How's your person feel? And their emotions. What's going on emotionally? With a person who's usually shut down and, and, and denies their emotions. But what's really going on underneath all that denial and self-sabotage? <laughs> Jesus Christ. For the third time, you've come back. I told you. I read the energy first. For those of you that are new, I throw the cards after. Sometimes I do get egg in my face. I'm not perfect. I ain't no fucking God. I don't think I am either. I'm a fuckwit. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rule of philosophy. Uh, what, the, the first, it's, it's just like Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is what? Don't talk about Fight Club. The first rule of philosophy is the moment you think that you know everything is the moment that you prove that you most definitely do not. Okay, So keep that in mind. Those of you that think you're smart, stop thinking you're smart. I might be smart. Other people tell me I am, but I sure as fuck don't think I am. Right here, Queen of Pentacles. But sometimes I do get egg on my face, but I'm not here. I told you they were just thinking about you. A 50,000 watt radio station blasting out in their emotions is you. Male or female. <laughs> How do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Because I don't give a fuck about that. I wouldn't believe a word that comes out of their mouth. Even if they tell you they love you. <laughs> it's, not, it's nowhere near as much. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. They do. It's very strong. Came back again. I gave the deck a good shuffle. We cut the deck. I shuffled it again. Right here. The fool. And it's bookending the hermit. What they're thinking about in the hermit is you. But what they're thinking about doing is coming towards you. They know they have to or they're going to lose you. They don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose the queen of pentacles. Male or female, it is the most loved queen. It is, it is a wonderful energy. It warms the soul. We like, the, uh, we like our soul warm. Our soul likes to be warmed as much as our ego likes to be stroked. Okay, Keep that in mind. You love it when someone tells you you look nice today or you're beautiful or this. You're handsome if you're a dude. Whatever. You love that. Your ego gets stroked. You mellow right out. Right? Well, the soul likes to be warmed. And this person's had a cold soul for a long time. I can feel that in their energy. It's been shut down. Heart chakra shut down, sacral chakra shut down, completely closed off from their divine feminine side. Everything's popping off with your person. Heart chakra's popping, uh, sacral chakra's popping, third eye's popping, crown chakra's popping. We've got chakra. It's, it's a shock fest 2021, and that's what you're picking up on. That's that weird energy. All they want to do is come towards you. What's the hidden energy read with the hermit? Let's take a peek in that cave. What's the universe want to tell us? And I'll tell you. <laughs> Four of Cups. You know, it's like our pre-shuffle came back in a lot of ways, and I shuffled the shit out of this deck. You know, that's what I like about tarot. It's real. Four of Cups. Yeah. They're scared as fuck. They know they blew you off. They, it's like, it's it, this is right here a little bit of I could have had a V8. It really is. You know that old commercial where they smack themselves in the head, I could have had a V8. They, they're, they're sitting there in the hermit going, I had a chance to have something really special that warms my soul and I fucked it off. And now I want to take a leap in, but it's a false victory because I'm going to have a lot of splaining to do. They know they have to open up. They know they have to come right. And it scares, it scares the fuck out of them because this person's afraid to be vulnerable. Otherwise, why would they have blown off the Queen of Pentacles in the first place? Because the Queen of Pentacles makes you love her. Male or female, it's a her on the car. Look at that little fawn nuzzle in there. That's the Page of Pentacles. That's often what your person shows up as. What's the final outcome read with this Queen of Pentacles? Oh, what is it? Oh. <laughs> I'll just take a, little, take a little peek here. It's the world. Yeah, our pre-shuffle was pretty much the whole damn reading here. You know, it really was. It came back. It came back around after a shuffle, a cut, and another shuffle. It's a lot of cards from our pre-shuffle. And right here, the world, they all came to the top. The world. A new cycle is beginning. Somebody has seen the light in the hermit. They want to take a leap of faith. And it looks like with the world sitting on top 
of the Queen of Pentacles, and in my experience, 31 years pulling cards, whatever the world falls on top on happens. 99.99999% of the time, anyway, according to my notebooks. And in this case, the world is kind of sitting on top, red with the Queen of Pentacles. I think we're going to see some forward movement when we, when, when we uh, uh, clarify here. Let's clarify. Let's go a layer deeper in the energy. Why is the hermit here? Let's go. Wow. I love a reading where there's symmetry. I love it. This is a symmetrical reading. Cards coming back mean that they're very powerful. The energies are very strong for it to do that. It's a mathematical improbability. It truly is. You know, and I give these decks a good shuffle too. I've been shuffling cards a long time. I mix them up real nice. All right, here we go. Why is the hermit here? Oh my God, I can't get rid of those bottom cards from the pre-shuffle. The nine of pentacles, they all want to come back. I gave it another good shuffle. And by the way, the three of pentacles is back at the bottom, which was the card that was underneath this one. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, that's unreal. This... Why, what they're thinking about is why the hell did I put a wall up? Why did I block the Queen of Pentacles? That's what you're picking up on. Because here, think about it. If you're confused about the energies you're picking up on, here's the logic for you. Here's why. You're like, well, they blew me off and they blew me off again and they told me they don't want me, so I guess I'm going to try to pull away. I'm going to take Steve's advice and put my fancy bikini on and go out and get my ass checked out and static energy on me from all that and then meet some new people. Right? So you're doing that. You're going this way. You're going left. Because you figure they're still running. But on the other side, they're like, wait, don't go. All of a sudden now they're like, oh, why did I do this? Oh, why? They're thinking the exact opposite of what you're thinking. You're thinking they're done. They told me they're done. We're done. Da, 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 da. And the opposite is happening underneath in the 5D and it's creeping up into their 3D. It's creeping up into their ego a little bit. That's what this Five of Swords is. They realize they want to win at all costs. Why did I put a wall up and block this wonderful thing here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Six of Swords. Uh... Okay, for a lot of you, your person was in something else, and that's what blocked this connection. That's why they had to put a wall up. For others of you, it's just, for all of you in general right now, actually, I should say, it's because they're, the, the wall is coming down. They're moving toward their happiness. They're going to take a crack at the, at the Queen of Pentacles here. I see it with the fool here, and I see it with the world here. This never happens. This is unreal. I mean, I'm shuffling the same way I always do. We almost never see those bottom cards again. I mean, this is a divinely guided reading as, as if I've, I've ever seen one, you know. I'm getting some help here. All right. I'm shuffling. Here we go. Okay. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Sad horse. Yeah, it's everything I just told you in the energy. The Five of Cups. Sadness. Regret. Why did I put this nine? What they're thinking about in the hermit is why did I put this nine of wands up? Why did I put a wall up and block the queen of pentacles? What have I done? What have I done? I done shot myself in the foot, stabbed myself in the foot with five swords. And now I'm sad, sad and regret. In their emotions, they feel sadness and regret because they blew off something really special that warms their soul. The queen of pentacles. It's very clear in the energy and you can see it in the cards. It's right there in front of you. That's why I pull the cards and I don't just sit here giving you an energy reading because I don't need these fucking cards. You do, though. You need to see, well, how do I know he, he's really, how do I know they feel regret? Well, here you go. It's right there. I'm giving you everything I got from the energy. Um, and every, the energies are really weird right now, and this is why. Somebody's changing their goddamn mind. And they don't quite know what to do about it, but at the same time, they want to win at all costs. And they're also moving, some, for some of you, they're moving away from something. <clears throat> and they needed some time to heal from that, or at least give it some thought. But they're moving toward their happiness. Nothing's happier than, than the Queen of Pentacles, I'll tell you what. That's a very warm energy. Why is the Five of Cups here? King of Swords. King of Swords takes action. I said they're moving toward the rainbow, didn't I? He's got a rainbow sword. That means they're taking action toward you. 
in their emotions is what they want to do and it is the loss of this the regret the sad horse the five of cups I've always said and I always will about these type of connections in the moment the other person the runner feels the loss of, of the other person that's when they come running in and in this case here they according to this five of swords for a lot of you they caused the loss in other words you had a conversation for some of you and then they said they weren't interested again and then you said okay fine you know blah 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 I'm moving on then or something along those lines either energetically or in the 3d and that really caused the loss I told you about that with the seven of cups after the cut somebody's making a plan to take action because the next card out is the uh, fool the universe don't want to talk too much about a third party here uh, the bottom of the deck by the way I, do, I didn't show it to you it's too late I started shuffling the crossing card here would have been the page of Pentacles or the page of uh, wands I mean I'm sorry which is communication so I got a lot of communication before this how do they feel about you they feel you're the beginning of a whole new life for them they want to take a leap of faith towards you because they feel that they can have a new beginning they want a new beginning here they want to start over in their soul I'm not sure about in the 3d yet in the 3d I think they're just starting to move away from something to come towards you and realizing all this shit we'll see either way we end with the most powerful card in the major arcana the world a cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning why is the fool here tell me about this fool <laughs> I could feel it uh, I knew it was coming. The King of Wands. I started laughing before I even pulled the card. The King of Wands, mostly because I saw the bottom card, which was another card of communication, the Page of Cups. I mean, it's all communication, folks. It's sadness leading to just nothing but communication. And a little fear that you're going to reject them because they rejected you. Probably two or three times. King of Wands also takes action. King of Wands builds up a false confidence, though. You're also in their spank bank, I'll tell you that. Big time. Big time. If they are banging somebody else, they're screaming out your name. Oh, collective. Collective. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, King of Wands also takes action, but it's a little bit of talking themselves in the mirror. It's a little bit of pretense. It's a little bit of, you know, I'm great. I can do this. I can do this. That kind of thing. Yeah, I, mean, I bet they are like that. Because they fucked up here. This is I fucked up upright. All right. Why is the uh, King of uh, Wands here? Six of Wands. They see victory with you. They want transformation. This is how they see you. They see a whole new beginning. They want a whole new beginning. They see a whole new life with the fool. King of Wands takes action. King of Swords takes action. They're feeling sad. They're moving away from something else toward their happiness, either a way of thinking, a person, a family dynamic, whatever. They're wondering in the hermit why they put up this wall. For some of you, if they're in a third party, they had to put up this wall because they wanted to try and make it work. But that obviously ended up a mistake because they're sitting in regret and sadness and they're moving away from that. Whatever the case, whether they're single or with someone, they see victory and they want transformation. They see you as the better choice. Of course they do. You're the fucking queen of pentacles and you came up three times in this reading. Three, three fucking times. That's the universe trying to hammer it home because some of you don't know that this person has a higher opinion of you than what you think. They hold you in high regard. What's the four of cups here? Universe wants to tell us, yeah, they know they fucked up here. They, they were at some point thinking about, you know, their heart chakra was shut down. They were apathetic. They were not rejecting, you know. There's a lot of disappointment around this card, though. You know, I wonder if this isn't more present. We'll find out. Why is the four cups here? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got it. Uh, four of swords and the ten of cups. Yeah. Disappointment. They've done a lot of thinking on this. Their third eye popped open. I already mentioned it earlier. I told you I felt that. Their third eye is open. Even if this person isn't remotely psychic and isn't into all that kind of stuff, they think it's hocus pocus or poppycock, right? Um, they're, 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 they got proof of it right now, although they might not admit it. Um, they did a lot of healing behind this wall. They came to a lot of realizations. It's red with the nine of wands. Happiness. It's a rainbow, right? 
Ten of Cups, always a rainbow, happiness, and the lights of your deck, it's two people sitting on a rainbow, fueling each other up. What's a rainbow right here? It's red with the Six of Swords. There's the rainbow from the Ten of Cups right there. I always say this is the rainbow from the Ten of Cups. There's the fucking Ten of Cups from the universe. Happily ever fucking after. They're moving away from something. Whatever it was they chose over you. Whatever it was. It could even be just a pattern of thought within them. It might be a marriage. Could be. Doesn't have to be. Whatever it was, they're moving away from that. They see you as the calmer waters. But there's a shitload of regret blocking this action. This is them coming towards you. This is them taking action. This is them taking action. This is them taking action. This is victory. But in between it, the block is the sadness and regret. But it's also the cause. It's... It's the block and then the cause. It's, it's like pulling a uh, rubber... Remember those little planes we used to get? I don't know if you're old enough or not. We, when I was a kid, we had these little planes. They were made of bamboo, and they had a rubber band on the uh, propeller, and you wound it backwards, and you wound up the rubber band, and wound up the rubber band, and then you, as tight as it would go, and then you let it go, and the, and the thing would spin, and the plane would fly. That's what this is. This is all this regret and sadness blocking the communication right now. For the moment, in the moment. But as that tension builds, as the, as the realization of the loss of this builds, it then, you let go of the propeller and they come flying in. Look at this, this is fast action here. Right toward the happily ever after. The universe says this ends in happily ever after. It ends in some sort of either closure, communication, emotional contentment, and this person's had a lot of healing. They've gone through it. They've made some changes, at least within themselves. I doubt they've shown them to you. I do. But the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. That's proof of that. Okay. Also tells me this person was a very pentacle-focused person. You know, money. They, it's someone who bases too much of their self-worth on how much money they have or status or something along those lines. You know, it's a common problem in today's world. It really is. Speaking of the world, it's our final outcome. Let's see here. A cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. From the cards around it, I would say a cycle of no communication and no happiness is, uh, is now beginning a cycle, transforming with this butterfly here on the victory card, the Six of Wands, into a cycle of the opposite of that. Let's see. First card out is red with the sad horse. Let's see. Mm. Communication, yeah. Let go of the rubber band, the propeller spins, the plane flies. Yeah. This sadness, it's everything I just told you. I read the fucking energy first. Any jackass can throw cards on the table and open a book and say, okay, uh, five of cups, sadness, regret. Fuck that, that ain't no fucking tarot reading. That's, 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 that's a party game. That's a party game. That's what tarot is sort of marketed as. Right here, this is tarot reading. Sadness, regret, the loss of this leads to communication. This is also, the page, the page of Pentacles is a card of learning. It's a card of studious communication. Someone thinking about everything they're going to say, but learning about you and learning about this connection. And look what it got on it. A rainbow. It's right after the Ten of Cups. The rainbow. Moving away from something. The rainbow to come towards you. The sadness stops it. And then the sadness builds, and then you release the propeller, and the plane fucking flies. Communication. 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 Next card out is the Three of Cups. And that, my friends, does not always mean a third party. I'm so sick of fucking seeing that out here on YouTube. It's no third party. There could be a third party involved for some of you, and I've already explained that here with the Six of Swords. If they're married, I've told you. They're fucking done with it. They've checked out, at least emotionally. I don't care what they tell you in the 3D. Three of Cups is the flow of water. The flow of emotion. It's somebody opening up and, and telling you how they feel. I want to tell you how I feel. I need to find a way to do it, to come get the happiness. They tell you how they feel. That's the second card out. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Because they want to communicate how they feel. Sometimes called a card of celebration. Well, it is. But it's also a card about the flow of water, emotion. And it's read with the King of Swords who takes action. 
The only thing stopping communication and closure and you two either being together on a couch and feeling each other up or just having your closure and going your separate ways right now is the tension needs to build a little more in the sad horse. I don't feel it enough yet, but it is coming in. And you're starting to feel it. You're starting to feel that tension. It's the sad horse you're feeling on the other side. And what is the sad horse about summed up in one sentence? Why the fuck did I put a wall up and block such a beautiful energy, the Queen of Pentacles? Why the fuck did I do that? That's the sadness and regret. And somebody wanting to fix that, win at all costs. It came out right here in the reading. You saw it right here before your very eyes. That's communication. Communication, communication. What cycle is ending? A cycle of no communication. What new cycle is beginning? A cycle of communication? Communication. And it is the sadness and the loss of this that leads to them starting to think, hey, I need to tell the collective how I feel. Right there. Let's see if the, oh, by the way, the bottom of the deck crossing this, if they're fucking watching you. And nothing compares to you, by the way. Uh, whenever I'm drawn to these little stars on this card, nothing compares. This little barn owl, he not looking up here. He don't care about the yellow one, the red one. He's just looking straight down at that little mouse on the ground that he wants. That's what they do. They fixate on it. Somebody fixated on you, either energetically or in the 3D. It don't have to be. They're not parked outside your house or some shit. All right. Give me three cards, universe. What else you want to tell the collective about this? What else you want to tell the collective about this? All right. Here we go. What else the universe got for you here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three cards. Yeah, this is very important. This is a very important message because I'm pulling, I pull from the bottom so I can see the cards. When I talk to the universe, I pull from the bottom. Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay. And I pull one from the top. The last one's always from the top. The Eight of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, crossing the Eight of Cups is the Seven of Wands. Another little flame. It's very similar to the hermit in this respect. This energy coming off this. This seven of wands is someone, again, who's keeping an eye on you. Keeping the distance. But they're also very intimidated by you. They know that you have the high ground here. The moral high ground at the very least. Because they blew you off. Again, this nine of wands in the, on top of the hermit is why the fuck did I put a wall up and block such a beautiful thing? Then now I feel is a beautiful thing, but it might be too late, so now I'm feeling the loss of it. I better reach out and tell them how I feel. That gives you the higher ground, the Seven of Wands. They're afraid that you're going to go. They're, and for some of you, if there's a third party, they realize the truth of that situation through this connection, and they walked away from it. Flat out. So there's two storylines there. But for all of you, whether they're married or not, whatever they do, whatever it is, whatever, they're afraid that uh, you're going to go, that you're gone, that this is over. You want that. That's what you want in a twin flame deep soul connection. You want the runner to fear the loss of this. And they have. The Ace of Swords is, is a bitter truth. It's a reality. It's Archangel Michael, sword of truth, rammed clean up their ass right up through the top of their head. And in fact, it went right up through the top of their head and stuck them to the ceiling. So they're just dangling from the ceiling with a sword, butt of the sword sticking out their butt. That's it. All this Eight of Swords shit, this is what you're picking up on. This is their radio station, 50,000 watts, and you're standing right next to the antenna. It's just, boom, you're just tuned right into this person and you're picking up on it. Don't succumb to this. Don't you get yourself in the Eight of Swords because they're in the Eight of Swords, prison of the mind that they can get out of by simply reaching out and telling you how they feel. Don't let, don't fall for this. It's not you, it's them. I'm going to make that very clear. If you, don't, if you don't believe a word I said in this whole reading, believe that, please. Because most of this Eight of Swords that some of you are in has nothing to do with you. You're free to go. The Divine Feminine has learned their lessons here. You know about self-worth. If you don't, go watch the 74 Pinto Twin Flame reading that I did. It's a very good reading. And the one that comes after it just backs it all up. It's in the Timeless set, I believe. Timeless playlist. Anyway, regardless, don't fall for that. Now, I'm going to extend this one. 
we're gonna go batshit crazy on the extended. You know what we didn't see? We didn't see an emperor. We didn't see a devil. Nope. You know why? Because of everything I fucking told you. Because this is a, this is a realization. We're in realization moment. Whenever we're in realization moment, where the other side realizes, oh my god, oh my fucking god, this is what this is. There's no devils here. They've 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 gone through healing. They know where the happiness is. Now they just need to get a grow a pair and come get it. Communication solves the day here. It looks like it's coming, because the world, like I told you. Anything that's sitting on top of the world or the world sits on top of and the world is our base right here in the final outcome A new cycle is beginning. It's a cycle of communication by the way Because these are two cards of communication, so that's good uh, I'm gonna do an extended and I'm gonna pull on what the fuck happened here What's what's this six of swords about? For, for starters and I'm gonna pull on what's going on inside the hermit a little bit What's the jam up here? Where are we at in the cycle with this five of cups? All right and I'm going to find out exactly how this communication might come to you. All right? And I'm sure you'll get tons of advice in the process. Because it always comes up in the energy. So, that's that. So, if you want the extended, it's there. Again, beavers are now welcome. Now, not that they never, you know, they always were. I guess they just wanted an honorable mention. Whatever you want to do. But definitely, if you're a human being, you're going to want to click that link in the description. I want it. I'm going to do it for me because I, I got some questions about the Six of Swords and the Five of Cups. And I want those fucking answers so that I can do your readings better if for no other reason. You know, if I, I'm going to dig into the energy pretty deep. As I say, we're going to do some voodoo. All right? That's it. I hope this reading was helpful to you. If I help one person today, I've done my job. It's really all I care about. Uh, and uh, But if I help more, that's great. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares and watches and all of that. Link, I'm going to pull the extended right now. Link is in the description. Good luck, everyone.